TikTok is a unique app, and today we'll be looking at TikTokers and the way that they break into their Doc Martens. Just to add a little splash, in my opinion, you know, just to see how it is. first one is the very famous one and this one has gotten millions of views and what she's doing is pretty right it's correct and it's simple if you have the arm strength i mean for ladies if you don't what you can do get your boyfriend brother dad whoever to squeeze it and then hopefully it should ease up that back part because a lot of people do complain that that back area they get got like literally that's where a lot of the blisters happen so it's very simple if you do this it should work it should ease up the leather okay i'm going to finally try to do it i've decided i am wearing my doc martens every day for the next i guess however many days i'm gonna say seven to start with to try to finally break these in ever since i read the princess diaries as a child and she talks about wearing doc martens i wanted a pair okay i have two other pairs in my closet I've broken them in successfully, worn them until they look like trash. So of course I bought these ones off Depop because they're incredible and I wanted them and they make every outfit look amazing. Um, but I've had them for a year and a half and I have never been able to break them in. That said, I got something from Amazon that I think might help. So we're gonna try it out today and hopefully it will keep my heels from uh, shredding to bits while I wear these over the next week. Because if I don't break these in, my heart will just like be broken forever. I posted about this problem that I'm having on Instagram and someone that I know reached out and was like, hey, you should look up um, heel boot protectors or whatever um, because they make these for like 10 bucks. You can get a package and the package that I got came with actually two things of them. So if this one is ripped through by these aggressive shoes, then I have another pair that is back up. Um, but she said that they really helped her Doc Martens be comfortable and you can put them on like on just your foot or over top of your sock. I'm gonna put them on over top of my sock and see how they feel in my shoes. Oh, and to just add to like how much of an old lady I am when it comes to shoes, let me add my orthopedic inserts into these boots before I put them on. Will my foot fit into the shoe with all this stuff in here? I have no idea. Oh no, it's like rolling it up in my shoe when I try to put it on. We can't have that. Okay, I successfully got it in there. I'm sweating, but it's happening. We're making it work. The things that I do for these shoes. Okay, okay I'm sweating, I'm out of breath, but I finally have them on and it feels a little bit weird, but it's fine. Hopefully it works and time will tell if I'm able to break these in. So this is an interesting video. I mean, these pair of Doc Martens, they, I see them everywhere on Depop, like people, literally resell these because they have a hard time breaking into them and some people just don't have the patience or they don't do it correctly like these ones are probably one of the difficult doc martens to break into simply because this platform so walking in them is going to be a little bit weird and different and then the top is the smooth leather which is one of the hardest doc martin leathers to break into so you have to know what you're doing before you even purchase them. So a lot of people will purchase them and then later on they wear them two, three times and they're crying and they're upset that these Doc Martens, they're literally hurting their feet. So finally she's deciding to break into them, which is good. Hopefully it works out. And with that, she has like a series too. So she has a part two and a part three. Let's check out the second one. So here's a little update for everyone who's wondering how it was going so far. I made that video last Wednesday, today is Sunday. I've worn them three times since then. I did skip Thanksgiving day because frankly, I did not feel like clomping around my kitchen while I was trying to make green bean casserole and scurry around before people got there. So I did wear Converse on Thursday, but I wore them every single day since. And I like, cannot believe how much this has helped already just within three days. The first day that I wore them, which is when I made that initial video, I put them on over my sock, which now that I've done it a couple different ways, I do not recommend because it started to roll up in the shoe. And I saw a lot of people saying to put it on underneath your sock, which does work better. I have kind of sweaty feet though. So it got a little icky feeling. I'm not even gonna lie. It like, it wasn't the most comfortable thing. I wore these underneath my socks all day on Black Friday and I swear to you I probably walked two miles My best friend and I went shopping and we just like parked in one spot and walked all around this huge shopping complex near where we live I had backup shoes just in case but I did not need them Yesterday was day three of wearing them My mom and I had to run out to do a short little errand so I threw them on I decided not to put on the little silicone heel protectors because I was feeling brave I was feeling like in my work And I really feel like wearing them all day on Friday with these has helped soften them break them in a little bit because I wore them yesterday for probably an hour and a half, an hour or something like that. I didn't walk like far distances or anything, but they did not rub my foot at all. And I didn't have these little protectors on. Today I wore them all. And I'm gonna try wearing these without the heel protectors because yesterday they felt so good. Truly, they did not rub my feet at all. I made sure they were laced up pretty tightly here so that my foot wasn't moving around too much in them because they're nines and I wear an eight. Anyways, that's a video for another time. They were so comfortable yesterday and didn't rub my foot that I, I have faith that maybe, maybe, I can go without the heel protectors today and make it out alive, but I am gonna bring them with me just in case. I'm also gonna give them a little bit of love and rub the like wonder balsam. I wanna call it a balm. Why is it the balsam? What does that mean? Anyways, I'm gonna use the, the little jar that they sell of like stuff that you rub on the shoes to try to soften them up because that was something that a lot of people suggested. So I'm gonna do that before I leave the house today, but I will let you guys know. I'll make another video and we'll see if my feet are bleeding by the end of the day. The wonder balsam, the wonder balsamic vinegar. For some reason that does everyone, I know I'm not the only one, 
but the balsam, it doesn't stick in my head. Every time I try to say it, I will always say wonder balsamic vinegar, <laughs> like balsamic, for some reason. Why don't they just put wonder bomb? Like, I try to do some research even to know what the heck is balsam. Like, it's it's awkward, but yeah, the wonder balsam, the wonder bomb. <laughs> In part two, she actually did some changes, which that silicone thing, she puts it on her feet first and then she put the sock on. But my question is, if you have that, how would it be putting it into like Chelsea boots? Like I struggled putting my regular feet into Chelsea boots. Imagine if I had that, would it roll up or anything? But so far she's having good progress. She's doing the right things and hopefully she breaks into them. Let's see part three the conclusion. Anyways, for anyone who's been keeping up, I wore these to the mall last week for Black Friday because I hate myself, but it actually worked out. I think what really needed to happen was the heel area here, which as you can see has some nice crinkles in it now, was too hard and stiff, not broken in enough for me to wear for long periods of time without it cutting into my heel. The way that I fixed that was by first for a few days in a row, wearing these heel protectors over top of my socks. And a suggestion that really helped was using the Wonder Balm, which is sold by Doc Martens, all over the heel area, on the toe crease area as well, and then using the hairdryer on it to heat up the leather. It is the most insane difference using that balm and the hair dryer because you can feel just how soft the leather is getting from using those products. And while I definitely think I'm gonna still have to keep using the Wonder Balm on them often to keep them soft, I could really wear them for a much longer period of time now than I ever could before. Because I've been wearing them more often, I'm used to how heavy they are, so it's not quite as cumbersome feeling to walk around in them. And they aren't cutting in my heels anymore, which is the craziest part of all of this. I did not expect any of this to actually work. So I'm gonna keep wearing my shoes comfortably and continue to break them in, even though I've got them almost all the way there. I'll let you know if they decide to betray me again. But hopefully for now, me and my Jada Max Doc Martens can live the rest of our lives together happily without blisters. So part three, very good. She's seeing progress. She's doing the right things. I like how she committed to break them in and she took the necessary steps. She put that silicone thing. It worked for her. And then also she added putting the wonder bomb, like literally a lot of people or some people don't think it's worth it. For me, I think it depends on your Doc Martens. Sometimes if you have like that thick or smooth leather, which it's very hard to break into for some individuals. I think that's very needed from the start. But eventually, I'll just say we all need that leather conditioner, you know, just to make sure our Doc Martens last. But yeah, it's good to see that she made some progress. Everything's going good. Hopefully, those Doc Martens are fitting her well and they're her everyday shoes. What do you think? Fastest way to break in your docks. All you need are some docks and a car. Like, let me really line it up with your car. Super comfy. I know this is a joke, but I will never do this. This is not the fastest way to break into your docks. I mean, hopefully other people realize that it's not a joke because $200 could go straight down the drain and yeah, like it's nice. It's cool. She got, um, I won't say popular, but it, it went viral. Like a lot of people commented and were talking about it, but yes, this is not a way to break into your Doc Martens. There are multiple different ways. This one is just a joke because a lot of people do think that maybe this can work. These are my first pair of Doc Martens. I wanted one. I wanted a pair since high school. And you guys helped me pick out which pair to get. I'm going to go return the Zara ones after this as well. I'm so excited. So these are the 2976 Quad Black Polished Smooth. I don't know. They're the platform Chelsea boot ones. And I'm going to try them on. I saw a video of a guy breaking in Doc Martens really quickly by like heating them up and putting this leather stuff on them and then it helps but i want to try them first without having to do that and then we'll see but they're so pretty oh my gosh Whew. okay first one's in sorry i'll back up so you can see damn these are so heavy duty they feel like i can really like carb stop someone oh. Ow. okay that's gonna take some getting used to Oh, but they feel good. I got a size eight. I'm usually a seven and a half, but I sized up for winter. I wear lots of thick socks. So these feel good. I need to go get heel guards, I think, but I love them. I think they're so cute. They feel like they're gonna last forever. <laughs> Look at how happy she is. Like, do you guys remember when you got your first pair of Doc Martens? Like, this just gives me some like nostalgia. Like literally I'm thinking like, man, 
I remember when I had my first pair, like I was excited. I wanted to wear it everywhere. And I was a little bit scared too, because I've seen so many things on like online or people are just bleeding everywhere. And I'm like, oh no, should I wear these too much? Should I not wear them? Should I have like a pair of shoes in the back? And it was a lot of things that I was thinking about, but I was excited just like she is. Hey guys, it's my first time wearing my docs out. So we're going to do a wear test. These are the 1460 Pascal Maxxers. I believe they're very similar to the Jaden Maxxers. They're just made with a different leather. So I'm wearing a UK fall and they fit true to size. Here's me putting them on. They are not too tight and they have enough space for socks. Also really easy to wear. First impression is that they're really comfy and they mold my feet really well so I don't feel any chafing whatsoever. You can see from here how the leather is really soft and hugs my ankles super nicely. Guys, I feel a hole in my sock but it's too late now. I hope it's not going to be a problem later in the day. I've been wearing them for 3 hours at this point and so far they are still really comfortable. This was my fit for the day. No blisters, no pain whatsoever. This is me at hour 5. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired from how heavy the docks are. Filming a dance break to feel better. It started to shave a little bit around my ankle so a little bit of discomfort but nothing too crazy. There was no pain around the top of my ankle which is what I've faced with previous docks. Hey guys, I'm home. I've been wearing the docks for around 6 hours. Overall, it's not too too uncomfortable compared to breaking in normal docks. I didn't put anything in at all. My right side foot is totally fine. I think there's a blister on my left leg. I feel like this could have been avoided if I wore proper socks. Um, and yep, this is the damage. Still had a blister at the end of the day, but overall still a really like comfortable experience. This is a great video because it shows the different types of leather that Doc Martens do offer. I mean, the one that she got is the Piso leather, not the Pasco leather, because I don't think they made the Jadens in the Pasco. But it's the soft leather, which is great and amazing. As you can see, she broke into it easier. Like, eventually her feet starts to hurt. But imagine doing this with, like, let's say the girl that had the smooth leather. It's very hard to do. So this piece of leather, very easy. It's soft leather. I recommend it to a lot of people, especially if you want to get some Doc Martens. I recommend it. 110% it makes your life easier you don't have to stress out and you don't have to be dramatic you just wear it, you look nice you move on with your life and that sock that sock got you the sock was like mm -mm, i'm not doing no doc martens nothing <laughs> oh man so i ordered a pair of dr martens yeah and they were pinching my feet guys it was so painful like when i was walking my feet were straight so i ended up getting these things like shoe stretchers i suggested in my comments to like stretch out my shoes but guys when i tell you it wasn't going in, so I was like, okay, mad. Anyways, so I was like, you know what, forget this, I give up. I actually gave up. I was like, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. So I went back to ASOS, scrolled, found the shoes again, ordered it in a size up, and then it arrived, guys. I was so happy. Here's me putting it out of the box, and I even put my feet in it. It feels so much better. Like, trust me, get a size up with these, I swear on my life. Anyways, the old pair, this is it. Guys, if you want to come collect it, because I put this in the trash, I swear. All right, for dramatic effect, obviously, but... Mm. She got it wrong, fam. You get what I mean, innit? <laughs> All right, let me stop. But, I mean, she did a lot of things wrong. I mean, she's in the UK. I'm sure she can find a Doc Martin store somewhere, at least to try them on. Those were a little bit tight for her. And for some reason, she decided to buy, like, the shoe stretcher, which is good. But those are the Jadens. Like, you can't just, like, she didn't know which ones to buy. She bought the wrong a shoe stretcher too and that also affected her results because you do have shoe stretchers for like boots and stuff like that so i'm happy that she's happy that she want to size up it fits her i mean she could have just tried on some doc martens i'm sure there's some stores online but i'm coming to collect them big man jade <laughs> This is effective, but it's also risky. With the hammer, she's just going at it. What if she misses and like she hits like the, not the heel part, but like the sole part and it comes apart. That's like my only thing that I think about whenever I'm watching this, because it's effective. If you use it, it works. Your leather becomes softer, but what if you miss and now you destroy your Doc Martens? What are you gonna say? Are you gonna return it depending on where you bought it and things like that? It's just, this can work, but just be careful.
That's all I'm saying. Here's three things to consider if your new Doc Martens are rubbing your feet. Do you have gorgeous new Docs that are gouging your feet? Do your new Docs rub around the back seam? If you can find a decent solid steel pipe and slide that onto it, get a smooth based hammer and tap around the seam, it will soften up the inside and sink the stitches in a little bit. If your docks are rubbing you at the base of the tongue, see that little piece of leather there? You can glue that up. Here's another gadget for stretching the bottom of the tongue. Boot goes on there, and then it gets wound out and opens up that end. So once the boot's on there, this gets wound out and makes some more room in there. When your docks are tight across the bottom of the tongue, you can get a shoe stretcher and put it in sideways so that it's going to be lifting upwards. So that gets put inside there, pushing there, and then it gets wound up and it just raises up that top and gives you a bit more room in there. This guy's TikTok channel is like a gem. Wait, did I call it TikTok channel or, or what did I call it? TikTok, whatever. This guy's TikTok channel is a gem. Like he gives like good advice. He's been doing it for a long time. The only problem is as me and you regular individuals, where are we just going to find a pole that long just sticking out of something? Like it's going to be hard to find. And also with the hammer, I mean, it's good, but I'm sure anything with a smooth surface can work. Like, just don't break anything. And then also, I like the tip that he gave towards the end. If like the top of your foot is hurting to glue it or to have something separated. What I'll say is if you have like a shoe tree, you know, usually put it in there and then you, ex you can extend it wide to make it wider. Also, you can put it like this vertically and then extend it up so that it can go up just a little bit more and that should help if you have any pain like at that top of your foot area but this guy is a gem he gives out great advice i love taking advice from older people because they've been through it they've seen a lot of different things This person is probably traumatized by everything she's probably seen online because those are the vegan Jadens, the ones that I have, and they do not require that much to break into them. Like she's probably seen a lot of things online and she's being very cautious. I mean, wearing multiple socks with the tape on the back of it. Now you're struggling, which is like an overkill just for the synthetic one. They're not even leather. So imagine if you put on like the smooth leather, like you might want to go a size up because you're going to have to have multiple thick socks. Like, <laughs> mm, it's crazy, but uh, yeah, it's entertaining. I have a Doc Martin hack for you. My boyfriend recently got me these amazing Docs for my birthday, and unfortunately, they're just that little bit too big. I even went back to the Doc Martin store to try on the size below, and they were so tight that they hurt, and I just knew I'd never wear them. So I ended up keeping the size that I originally got. But I have these silicon heel protectors that are really good for breaking in shoes or just wearing uncomfortable shoes in general, but they also really help with making your shoe just that little bit smaller and your foot that little bit bigger that it actually won't slip anymore. So if you have any shoes that are a little bit big, or specifically these style Docs, I've heard from multiple people that they have that same issue they're kind of an in-between size so neither fit definitely get these and get the little bigger size and they'll fit so yeah let me know if you try it out this is good advice but the only thing that i'll say is you put pressure on yourself to always have that silicone thing because if you don't then your feet is going to be sliding back and forth that's my only thing with this i mean if you get a bigger size it's always going to be big and then you put that pressure on yourself like oh i always need to carry this around or else i can't wear these shoes I mean, it's quite unfortunate, especially with Doc Martens, that they don't make half sizes because a lot of people do struggle with that in-between thing. Because for me, I mean, I would say if you can go a size down and then try to stretch it out to make it fit. But others, they do struggle so much with that in-between because, hey, sometimes when it's too high or when you size up, it's too big. When you size down, it's too small. So, yeah. It's crazy. Also, check out these 10 more ways on how to break into your Doc Martens. Some of them are crazy. <laughs>